Hello Uplanders, I'm YK2012 and today I'm going to explain to you how the first property gets minted in a new city release. I'm getting a lot of questions from players who have never participated in a new city release and they, they're asking me, how does the first property get minted? How do we get into a situation like this where there's a property which is essentially in the middle of the map, in the middle of nowhere? How does that one get minted? Who sent themselves there? In order to mint a property, you have to be in range of it. That means that your block explorer has to be in this area. Now, there is actually a block explorer here. You can't see him because I actually toggled off other block explorers. So he is actually here. But the question is, how did he get there? The short answer is, is that everybody is just wandering around the map. And when the city gets released, all of these properties will turn gray. I will show you this right here. You can see the properties are white. Now in a moment, there you go, they just all turned gray. So for me, they turned gray because I am not in this neighborhood. Someone else happens to be in this neighborhood. So for him, these properties around his block explorer will turn light green. And he will be able to start minting wherever he is. Since I'm not in this neighborhood, if I wanted to mint something here, I have to look for a property that someone else owns. So I'm looking around the map, waiting to find a property to turn light, green, light blue. And there it is. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to send myself to that property, because this is a neighborhood that supposedly I want to mint. So I have to wait for a property to be minted in order to get there. And now that a property has been minted, I'm going to send myself here. Now you can see how long this is going to take for me to send myself to this property. And by the time I'm able to get here and click on another property, this guy has probably already minted another three or four properties in this area. And he's in the process of minting them. And it just hasn't turned light blue yet on my screen this player and potentially other players are probably in the process of minting this area. When I land here you can see that the properties now turned light green because these properties are in range of my block explorer. So my block explorer has discovered these properties that have not yet been minted but chances are someone are, is already in the process of minting them. So it shows to, for me that they're light green but I am not actually able to buy this one. You can see very quickly that the buy button here is grayed out. I'm not able to click it because someone has already entered the minting process of this property. And in fact, the same is true for the rest of these properties here. To answer the initial question of how does someone mint the first property, there are going to be tens of thousands of players who are going to be discovering the properties in their own area. So instantaneously, if someone is wanting to mint the area that they are in, if they like that area and that property, they can go ahead and start minting it. And there might be other players, just like myself in this video, where since I'm not in a, in a neighborhood that I want to be, I'm looking for a property in this neighborhood. So I'm just going to wait for someone to, to discover something and I'm going to jump over here. And hopefully I'll be able to uh, start walking in a different direction and discover some properties that I can start minting here. If this property is in a very, very highly coveted neighborhood, chances are there are going to be lots of other players who are trying to do the same thing as me. And there is a big element of luck where if you happen to be here first and discover it, you do have a head start. But once it's been discovered, you can expect a lot of other people to come join in in this area and also try and mint some properties. The last tip that I have for people who made it this late into the video is that you can see that there is this black line behind the block explorer. This is the tail and the path that he follows for approximately 18 minutes. Anything that is in range of that path is something that I am going to be able to interact with. Whether it be minting a property or picking up scents, not just 
what you can see around the actual block explorer. So those properties when the new city is released will also be green like you saw at the beginning of the video. And I am even able to pick up a send that you can see that is a little further away from the line itself. But the other one was not. So you can get a good sense of what kind of range you have around your block explorer and your tail here. So when you are getting prepared for a new city release, when everything here would essentially turn uh, from white to gray as we saw in the beginning of this video, these properties in this area would actually turn light green. So I'm able to mint the property over here, but I would also be able to mint this property all the way over here because it is in range of this line which is my tail. So if I'm going to send myself now to a different place on the map, then my tail is going to disappear from here. And wherever I go, I will start to create a new tail. So I'm going to show you that right now. I'm going to send myself here next to the train terminal. I'm in San Francisco. And I'm going to send myself here. I want to go to the train terminal, but I can avoid going to the train terminal by sending myself to a property that is in range of the train terminal. So here I will be able to click on the train terminal and actually enter it. You can see here that there is some sort of a region around my block explorer which allows me to interact with anything in that area, whether it be a train terminal, whether it be a send, whether it be uh, trying to mint a property. So this tale is very functional and important to understand how that works. I hope that this video was extremely informative and explained how all this works and I wish everyone luck in a new city release, whatever city that happens to be. Please give us a like, leave us any comments or questions. There's also a playlist here in the bottom right hand corner where you can learn even more about new city releases and how to best prepare yourself. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel.